Welcome back. If you drove by Stoker Stadium at Saplesio Field on Wednesday night, you might have seen a familiar glow. Last night, District 51 and the city of Grand Junction turned on the stadium lights as a message of hope. Our Mike Kretz has the story. Dear School District 51 community and citizens of the Grand Valley, Tonight, the lights at Stoker Stadium and Saplesio Field were turned on as a beacon of solidarity that signifies our commitment to students and our community. Floodlights of hope and a future that's just as bright as those Friday night lights. Let's not lose hope. Let's all, you know, believe in what's possible and not be afraid of what may happen, but really look forward and think this too shall pass. Right now, we're just being bombarded with these negative messages, and so we wanted these lights to be a positive message to our community. A community that would love to cheer at sporting events again. In Grand Junction, when you see these lights on, there's something going on. So to hear that hum of the ballast going and all these lights on, it's, it's, it's sad to see the fields empty, though. Indeed, it is kind of eerie, the familiar sights and sounds. Missing. I want to see kids out here. I want to pick up the trash. I want to, you know, see the nachos and the sunflower seeds. Um, and I just want to get back to that. Now, until we get this thing all sorted out and we get back to some type of normalcy, you can expect to see every Wednesday night when the sun goes down, the lights come up. We'll turn on these lights for 20, 30 minutes and be that beacon of light and just remind people to reach out and be a light for somebody else. Yes, the lights also serve as a challenge. It's really just that idea to reach out to people, call. You know, one of your neighbors, one of your friends, a family member, let's all check on each other. Let's all, you know, take care of each other during this challenging time. In the meantime, drive by Stoker and Saplesio on Wednesday nights. They'll leave a light on for you, a light of hope. It's what we've got. Hang in there. We'll get through this together. And there's still that glimmer of hope. Make this the best we can for, for everybody, not just our students, our staff, but our community. Mike Kretz, KREX 5 News. The district is encouraging people to enjoy the lights, but asking folks not to congregate. Simply share the message with the hashtag BeTheLightCO.